we go in three, two. We are back this week in sports. Hey y'all! And we got our part-time co-host back <laughs> in the building, back in the mix. That's good. I missed y'all. I need a hockey stick instead of a uh, baseball bat, bat right at this right point now. in the season. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I have one somewhere. Anyways, uh, crazy weekend, crazy fucking game. We're still alive. We're gonna make history. Uh, studio audience got kicked out. Yeah, boo. Be- because they had to. Um, and also, uh, a lot of a lot of stuff going on. This is this is the most wonderful time of the year. Oh yeah. Especially oh, yeah. when the uh when the Oilers are still playing. Of course. But and that win. Yeah. So you watched it, right? Oh my God! I was downtown. I was not in Rogers Place because those those tickets be expensive. But um, I was out there feeling the vibes of literally the whole city, it seemed like, came down for Shania freaking Twain. That was, was that? insane. Oh, my God. It was she, – she just loves Edmonton. You can tell she wishes that Edmonton was more of her hometown than Toronto. But, like, you know, Canada all around is just, you know, her favorite place to be. How seems. do you know she's from Toronto? I thought she was from Calgary or something. Was it Calgary? I think that's where she's originally from. Oh, I thought someone said she was from Toronto. Well, she probably like, lives in Toronto now. Okay, maybe that's why someone said that at the crowd. I was like, where is she from? They're like, she's, she lives in Toronto. Yeah. I mean, no shade about Toronto. I was there, like, last year. and It was, it was pretty nice. It's just really busy. Toronto's dope. Yeah. I like the city, but fuck the Leafs and fuck all that. We all, we all know we all know how we feel about the Leafs on this on this podcast. Jays still suck, and they're just below 500 still. Fucking 72 games in, 90 games left in the season. We're about halfway through the season in, that, in baseball and Nothing's changing. Oh, God. So, I wish I knew more about that whole thing. Yeah, well, we'll talk about uh, something that you do know a lot about, uh, some hoop in a little bit here. Oh. Oh. I know oh. how to play basketball. Watching it, a little different. <laughs> you don't know how to play basketball. You know how to shoot. You know how to put the the ball in the net. You don't know the nuances. That's pretty good. Sport. That's pretty. That's a good place to start, right? Getting the ball in the basket. Bam. I guarantee you, you, you <laughs> don't know half the rules of basketball. I mean, it's been a while, but, like, we did do it in school, so I kind of know a little bit, but it's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, my weekend was, was pretty dope. I, I wasn't able to to watch the game live because I was emceeing my buddy's wedding. Shout out oh, to Connor. Oh, yeah. Tell us about how Anna that went. It was, it was magical. In the mountains, bam. Not to, like, you know, put them on hype or anything, but. No, it was awesome. Yeah. Uh, Connor asked me. Months ago, if I was if I wanted to do it, if I wanted to MC it, I'm like, absolutely, man, for sure. And that's like your homie too, you know. Of yeah, you yeah. Do that Connor Monday, for those that aren't aware, uh, he was my first broadcast partner uh, for hockey. We went, we met uh, doing the Enoch Tomahawks a couple of winters ago. Oh, awesome! And Aww. he's their goalie. He was their goalie coach. He does. He, he still does goalie coaching. And uh, he was he was doing some of the play by play as well, some of the commentating, and that's wicked. We uh, we did a, we did a bunch of games together during that season, and uh, yeah, he's really good. Bunny was a, a really good buddy. It was an honor to to MC that wedding. Oh, I couldn't I couldn't believe doing something like that. Like I was telling him, like I wish I had an opportunity to do something like that. Like yeah. wow. They also yeah they they also had me uh, doing the vibes. I was DJing as well. Oh yeah. So I was Jeez. I was I was double dipping. Double duty and that's and, crazy. Uh, you were just probably fuck. so busy. Like, how do you even keep track of the score? I personally wasn't able to continually keep track of the score because I was doing everything else. And it was just an insane game. Like, how can you keep track of all those? Goals? Yeah, but every 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 so often, I'd look up the score, or someone would come up. They'd be like, "Yo, it's three one, four one." Then I'd announce oh it to God. I'd announce it to everyone. They're like, "Yeah," Sick. and uh, yeah, it was it was in the. The reception. So the ceremony was outside. Oh, beautiful in the mountains. Yeah, in the mountains, wow. it was absolutely incredible. And we thought, honestly, we it looked like there was gonna, it was going to rain. Oh no! Like the entire week leading up to it, it said it was. It like, might storm. No, it was like a sixty, seventy percent chance that it was going to fucking rain. Oh my god! But the rain led off. It did not rain during the ceremony. Bless. Thank God. Yes. Yeah, literally. And uh, so the ceremony went amazingly, amazingly. <laughs> uh, I went there with my with my. <laughs> <laughs> Just pouring on? rain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh it's supposed to be close. Our studio audience is a little. Uh, 
Uh, a little hungover today. <laughs> um, yeah, you can say that. <laughs> what do you think I was gonna say? Um, honestly, I was, I was, I was wondering. <laughs> I was wondering a little bit. Uh, yeah. So the ceremony was amazing, and then I uh, went down there with my with my cousin Amy and and Greg. Shout out to Amy and Greg. Yes. Love and them. we got a uh, we got a. Is is that cla- dude? It sounds, sounds like, like rain. rain. It honestly sounds like rain. Is bro. he still pulling on this rain joke, y'all? Yeah. <laughs> that's better. Yeah. That's I mean, I don't know what, what 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 the other one sounded like, but that sounded pretty good. Yeah. You gotta get some like cheers in there and shit. Yeah, like woo! Yeah. 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 That's more of a hype that's audience. The one. That's the one. Okay, so back to my story again here. Uh, <laughs> like, fuck, where the, the, where the fuck go? <laughs> sit down. Yes, sit encore, down. encore, encore. Yeah. I get it. Thank sit you. down. Thank <laughs> you guys, everyone in the back. Yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> where the fuck was I? Uh, ceremony, mountains. And, oh, yeah, uh, reception was inside. Oh, yeah, so reception. Remember where we stayed? Uh, the Banff Park Lodge? Oh, so nice. Yeah, that's where the reception was. Wow. In their, in their uh, banquet room. Oh, my and God. That was, was so beautiful. Yeah, wow. oh, it was amazing, dude. It was awesome, and uh, <laughs> holy shit, was that ever a fun time. So a, a bunch of the wedding party and, and the people that were a part of the wedding, they were actually staying at the hotel. Oh, nice. So to to save a couple bucks, we'd be running to and from like the rooms. Oh, and, 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 like as a dressing room. Well, not as a dressing room, as, as a drinking room, because oh. <laughs> instead, of, instead of paying like 20 bucks for, for, for drinks, you just run upstairs real quick, right? So I was running, oh. I was running back and forth, <laughs> getting the announcement going, get, keeping the party going, right, with the of music course, and everything. Of and uh, it was just all in all, it was just such a fun, fun time. And it probably brings you back to like all those good times we had in the mountains. Oh, it did. Like, running around and it totally did. Oh, for sure. And uh, yeah, and and then the cherry on top was the Oilers winning. Right. Yeah. One. Yeah. What? Like being down there, the energy was just so crazy. Yeah, I mean, it must have been like, crazy. Where'd you watch it? I was at, at the fan, fan park. park. Yeah, so we actually we got we we got to the line, and I didn't think I was gonna get in because it was like wrapped around Boyle Street, like going around the corner, back to where like you used to park along that one road. That, oh, that it was that, all that, the way. Yes. Holy so shit. So I got there, I took a video. I'm like, hey y'all, I don't think I'm gonna get in, but then I ended up getting to the front of the line, taking a video of me being like, I'm in, I'm in. It was just so hype because not long after that they closed the doors. Yeah. So I might have made it in just in time, and it was we like three thirty. What do you mean? You gotta go down to the fan park again. Right. I gotta I gotta watch it here by myself. And he has and to go to Bam. Oh, you gotta go to Bam. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. And Connor, Connor, and and Macrina, they gotta get married again. We were making that joke. Yeah, go get married again. Yeah. yeah. We we're making that joke all night. Like after we won, we're like, yo, you guys gotta get married on Tuesday again. Oh my god. Real and like uh, just being down there, I was like, "Hey, is this is this a different thing?" Because I haven't been down a fan park to watch a game probably like six games. Yeah. And so like I was like, "Hey, I have to be here every single time now." Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I I that's like one of my favorite places to watch the game. But the game the yeah. game started at six o'clock, and I get off work at at five thirty. Right. So by the time I get home, it's just enough time to throw my jersey on and watch. So yeah. As far as tomorrow, um, did you have plans for it? Um, well, I, I mean, I work night shift all week, so I'll probably end up watching it here. Or if you just want to go to the fan park, we'd all go. Well, the, no, the There's fan no park's way? not possible for me because I, okay. I won't get home till 5.45, 5.50. Okay. Well, yeah, you can get home and then we'll, we'll figure out what we're going to do. Well, I mean. Because we should watch it together. Yeah, we should Hypebeast. watch it together. We should maybe watch, go hit up a bar or something. Yeah, word. I'm down with that. Just have like the aura of energy of other people. I don't know, know which one, though. I know. I'm trying to figure that out is always a hard one. Well, because, like, I, I might, I not, like I might not even have. Yeah, me too. Me too. I was thinking first round, maybe. Or the gardens. Yeah, high note? Oh, yeah. Don't say that. Don't say it out loud. Which one is it? <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, don't dox us. Why? Anyways, though. I don't know what that means, dox. It's it just like. Yeah, ba- yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, I kind of already did with that other. Who or gives a cut fuck? That out. Bring it, yo. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> Don't do that. Some crazy just show up at our doorstep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Which, I That'd know be which so one. hype. They won't even probably. They won't even have it on the fucking screen. Of course, screen. it's Stanley Cup Finals. People, people okay. are that a little loop. No, no. Uh, no, we can go. I wouldn't mind going downtown, like first round. But the thing is, like I said, 
we like I'll get home like so like I won't have time to shower or anything. I'll just throw the Who jersey and go. Who cares? Well, it depends on how greasy I get tomorrow at work. I guess. Just sponge bath on the way home. But yeah, honestly, it doesn't just fucking matter. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be so hyped. So why don't we why don't we shoot for that? Yes. You guys be ready to go as soon as I get home. Yep. I'm throwing the jersey on. We're dipping. Yeah, I'm just gonna wake up and go. Like five fifty. Okay, we'll, we'll 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 make it happen. High five. Yeah. Do it. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna call around. I'll, I'll I'll see if I can reserve a table. That'd be sick. We so, should go first first round. Yeah, first round. Yeah, but some of these places don't don't allow you to reserve tables on yeah. game day. No, first come first serve, which I kind of like and appreciate, but at the same time, not for the people who are late. It's bad, you know. Yeah, if we can't reserve a table, then there's almost like no <laughs> point in going. Right. Because we won't get it. I don't think we'll get a yeah, table. Yeah, and and the quality that. of the setup here is just so much better. Anyway. Oh, it's dope. It's yeah. Just the best. Maybe, well, actually, maybe I was thinking. Maybe hollering at Craig. And just having the whole crew here. Yeah, or watch it over there. They come oh, over yes, here. yes, yes. Okay, I'm totally down with that. That'd be fun. Yeah. Well, totally. so, okay, so let's let's shoot for first round first. Yeah. And I'll I'll call them tomorrow when I'm at work and see if they they can uh, reserve that. reserve a table, right, if that's yeah, possible, if that's even a thing. And then if not, maybe we'll we'll have a whole gym dig here. Okay. Um, But, yeah, all in all, great weekend. So, so okay. To finish my story about the wedding, so wasn't able to watch the game, uh, obviously, but had a great time that night. And then oh, after the wedding and everything, after the, the reception and everything, we went went up to one of the rooms, had a few more drinks, and then walked over to my hotel room, which was like in a different hotel. Yeah. It was a nice room, too. Okay. It was like a loft. It was like a loft. Oh, sick. That, that, we, that we pitched on, uh, me, Amy, and Greg. Oh, nice. And uh, we went there, had a couple more drinks there. And the plan was to go out to that Rose and Crown that we went to. Yeah. But uh, I was so exhausted that I, I guess I just like ended up, I was sitting in the chair like on the de- at the desk there and everyone was just sitting around. Uh, the two homies that I went there with, they, they were like, we're going to the bar. I'm like, okay, I'll meet you at the bar, I'll meet you at the bar. And I ended up just like crashing in the chair. Really? Just like, just out. And here's the funny thing too. So I br- I bought a new suit for this for for the wedding, and I left my change of clothes, my other change of clothes, in Calgary. No way! Yeah, so I passed out in, in my in in my your suit. suit. Yeah. and you had to leave in your suit. Yeah. you just woke up the next day with the coat over your shoulder, yeah. like yeah. little hung. <laughs> Literally, and 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 the dude at the front desk was like, "Yo, you have, did you have a good sleep?" I'm like, "Yeah, it wasn't long enough." Because I went out, I went went out front, and it was the same guy from the pre- from the night before, right at the front desk. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was just so hilarious so that, funny. that that I just forgot my other my other change of clothes at in Calgary. Oh, so what chair did you pass out again, in again? Just the chair sitting at the at the desk in the hotel there. Oh my god! How long were you up there for? No, no, it wasn't. Uh, it was in the hotel room. Oh, okay. No, no, it was. It was in okay. The, no, 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 no. It was in the hotel room. We were all so chilling. Like the lobby area. No, no, we were all chilling, and then and then they left. I, maybe they went to the bar. I'm not sure if they actually ended up going to the bar because oh, if yeah. I didn't, it was like pretty late. It was. Like twelve or one or something. Yeah, maybe they ended up passing out. Who knows? Yeah, or so, even just went for one drink. So yeah, I just I just ended up passing out on the chair, and then making my way to the couch. Woke up in my suit and yeah, and uh, and then that I woke up like my inner clock wakes me up super early because like of work, right? Oh god. So I woke up. I woke up at like <laughs> like five thirty or six o'clock in the morning. That sucks. And, I'm well, so I, glad I don't have to deal with yeah. That. Well, and, and Amy and Greg were they were still sleeping. So I ended up just going on the laptop and watching the Oilers game, re- like we watched the entire oh, game. Oh, sick! So you did watch the whole thing. Yeah, okay. well, of course I had to. Yeah, yeah. I had to, and holy fuck, that was that was a good time just by myself in the morning for the most part, and then yeah. eventually Amy and Greg got up and watched the third period with me. But so you just never went back to sleep after waking up at five thirty in the morning? No, I was too hype. Okay. I was too hype. Like, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I gotta watch this game because I was like still sleepy and whatnot. But I'm like, yeah, this is a freaking. You also enjoy your time in band. Oh, it was like, amazing. You know, Waking up, open the curtains, and the mountains yes. are right there. Yeah, why would you go to sleep after that? You're like, hell no. I'm going to yeah, my morning. Exactly. Yeah, so, totally. Yeah, so I, I ended up watching the game, and uh, we chased Bobrovsky. That motherfucker oh is my human. God, he's so funny. Yes, he, he is human. Sergey. Hey, Sergey. Sergey. Yo, all the guys in the crowd right near her is like goaltending as he's walking off. He's doing that. It was so funny. Oh, my God. Yeah. I wish. Oh, if I it had the money, I'd be outside. behind their bench and be talking <laughs> the maddest <laughs> shit to him. You'd be like, you'd be like the grown the adult version of that kid. You see that kid that was behind the window behind Knobloch when he was having that issue? 
Oh, with with no shirt. Yes, yeah, like he was ridiculous. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah, there's nothing like playoff hockey. We all love it. <laughs> we all love it. So. Um, totally. Yeah. By the time this drops, uh, it will be game five coming up here. Yes, and shout out to Stu. Like he he came back so hard that game. Yeah. For us, like Stuart Skinner. Yes, he made some wicked saves. I was oh, like, yeah. what? How can I? Oh yeah. Stu's the ship. Right. And Bobrovsky's human. I know he's human. Thank God. And I'm like, you're robotic. What? Yeah, and we uh, we got our confidence back with that five spot on Bro- on Bobrovsky, and then an, an yes. additional three on Stolars. Yeah, yeah, because they had a fire lit underneath them. I'm like, they're not slowing down. No. There's no way this guy better be ready. And still let in three. So yeah, I don't right. So th- <laughs> it'll be uh, it, it'll definitely be interesting. In Florida tomorrow, I want to be like biting my nails and I know probably getting a few that's more gray most, hairs. I, that's how most Oilers fans feel, but for me, I feel more like I feel so optimistic. It's kind of like delusional. It's delusional how optimistic I am. Like, yes, four in a row, let's go. Our boys got well, it. Well, I'm sure you, I'm sure you've seen that stat. We all seen the stat. Uh, well, at least like it came up on my feed a bunch of times, where since Chris Knobloch has been hired, every time that we've lost three in a row, we've gone on a winning streak. What? Yeah. And no, oh, yeah, it was eight games first. And then we lost three after that, and then we went on the 16-game winning streak. That's crazy. And then late in the year, we lost three in a row, and then we went on a five-game winning streak at the end of the season. Could you imagine if they, like, okay, when you put it in that perspective, it makes it even more mind-boggling to me because he didn't win that, that trophy for the coach thing, even though he deserved that. Like, what? Yeah, no, no. I, oh. I could. There's definitely an argument uh, for him winning the – the Jack Adams Award, but yeah. but the thing is, is it, it was only like half a season. True, and I guess that'd be kind of crappy for well, the other not, coaches who like, have been there was, for like. It wasn't actually a half a season. It was, it was like sixty some games. So it was like two thirds of or uh, three quarters of the season. But okay, um, I think that's the only reason why one of the main reasons he didn't get considered for it. Also, we don't get considered. The Oilers don't get considered for a lot of these awards. Which is ridiculous. Which is you fucking know how many, bullshit. How many times, like, Connor should have won? Or well, I mean, last like, last year, fucking Math, Matthews wins the heart. And, like... Ugh. I know. Bias. Bias. Yeah. Whatever. It's disgusting. What was that one? <laughs> From SpongeBob. Oh. It's like, oh, not again. <laughs> kind of <laughs> moment. <laughs> Oh, really? Damn. <laughs> Shit, there goes our, there goes our studio yes. audience. Oh, they, they take an early night. Yes. Well, um, you have a late night coming up here. I do. I have to listen. I'm going to my day job, but it's actually a night job today. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, Twist? Twish? No, well, a couple things before this week in sports history. The Jays, like I said, they're, they're under 500. We always got to talk touch on them mm-hmm. I haven't been watching any baseball though um obviously because all my fo- all, all my focus has been towards the Oilers and also all your side gigs yeah no this is actually nice now though I, I can actually have some time to myself this is the first time in like a month where I don't have something coming up super busy yeah so it's nice so like this weekend I'll actually be able to chill sick we should all do something then oh I mean there's, there's a gender reveal for our sister shout out Shamaya yeah, that's oh my is that Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. Okay, well, f- Friday I want to I'm gonna try. I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna have to do, but I'm gonna make my way into Game Six somehow. Oh my God! Yes, record the whole process. That'd be sick. What do you mean, just buying a ticket for an exorbitant amount of money? Oh, <laughs> he's gonna do it the legitimate way. I thought it was gonna be more exciting, like he's gonna use like. Oh no! Charisma, well, the, the thing about that is, I I totally I I mean I, I don't wanna say too much on here, but. Uh, if if it wasn't a Stanley Cup final game, you probably get it. Well, not just that; it's just every seat is taken. Oh, there's not there's right. not a seat to be had in there. True. Yeah, so you got to so buy. Kind of, you kind of walking around like, oh, I don't really belong yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, uh, yeah. So game six, I really, really, I don't know what it's gonna take. Uh, I might have to sell my left hand or something. Oh, my God. Chop off a digit or something. Go to the black market. I don't think they're going to want your digits. I think they're going to want your kidneys. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Let's go. 
let's do it let's do it whatever <laughs> whatever it takes all um, right yeah no I, i'm like I, I talked to my buddy uh turbo ticks i guess i can show one on here turbo yeah. ticks they match any price online oh sick also game time does do, do that too don't they mm, game time's a little different oh well also they're u.s based yeah uh, so I'm I'm gonna get in contact with him and hopefully I talked to him yesterday, and he gave me a ballpark range of it's it's fluctuating, the price for uh, game six. Oh. Uh, so I'm gonna try to do that, and then this weekend will be like my first weekend where I actually have off, so uh, I'm excited for that. Totally. I've, I've been hopefully it's beautiful at time. We all go out and be active and be successful. Oh yeah, I got baseball on Wednesday too. So. Stay on target. Okay, Blue Jays, yeah. Uh, we're 35, 37. Already touched on that. Oh, yes. Okay, so before this week in sports history, we got we to give a shout out to the NBA champions. They just clinched tonight the uh, Boston Celtics. What? 106 over 86. That's at the end of their season, like their final game? The, yeah, they're the champions. They're the champions. Okay, yo, Ooh. shout out. Who are they? Boston Celtics. <laughs> Go Celtics. Yo, I thought they were football last episode if you're here for that. <laughs> These guys didn't even correct me. These turkeys. That is so funny that you're like just like cheering it on like you know you know. I know, I have no idea any of their faces, their names. I don't even know what color jerseys they wear. Oh stop. <laughs> Can I guess? Let's guess. Yeah. Okay, I'll guess. Celtics. Think about um, it. Um, like light blue or light yellow with like a gold trim. No. Light yellow, light blue, and gold trim. Diarrhea brown. <laughs> <laughs> Beige. No. Is, are they the a Celtics. sand? What is blue mixed with? The with Celtics. Celtics green. There you go. Oh. Holy shit. Like Celtics. Oh my god. <laughs> They're one of the most iconic franchises in all of basketball. And green's my favorite color. It's their 18th championship in their history. <laughs> uh, yeah, just when, when it comes when it comes to the <laughs> shit you don't know, just 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 don't even. <laughs> fucking R two D two shaking his head. I obviously don't know how to mix colors either, even though I love art. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> color theory, one of the right? <laughs> I, got I think I, I think I had this one on the last episode. I can't remember. Oh yeah, um, I remember you asked me one time. Wasn't this the one you got me the gift? Yeah. Or, yeah, I remember you were, you were like, "Take this with you this time." I'm like, "Okay." Yeah, you got me this David. I was so here. unknowing. Yeah, and this is this is this is before he really like this is around the time he was blowing up kind of thing. No one really knew him. I, like I didn't know him. I didn't really know him that much at that time because I was I, lo- I love hockey, but like I didn't love hockey as much as I do stop. now. Uh know. so. Celtics <laughs> win the championship. Oilers gonna continue their their strive for the cup tomorrow. We're we're taking game five. You got a final score. I got four. I got oh, I got four tomorrow? one oil. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say five two oil. Five two. Five two. Period. I'm okay. Like, okay. Uh. So yeah. Uh. Before we wrap up here, as always, we have got this week in sports history. This is a good one. Talking about ba- uh, basketball. Basketball just ended this uh, tonight with the Celtics winning five years ago, June fourteenth, twenty nineteen. Toronto Raptors win their first championship. What? Yes. Yo, <laughs> that was hype. I lived downtown when that happened. Yeah. One of nine and Jasper, the honks were going. I was like, I'm like, I, I felt the energy, even though I didn't understand. You know, I'm like, yo, this is a big deal. <laughs> This it's is a big, big deal. deal. Let's yeah. Go. Well, it's actually crazy that that people were so hyped in Edmonton, right? So far away, all from day to, from like when it happened to like three a.m. Yeah. Nonstop. Because yeah. I'm right on Jasper. So. I know. I know. I remember. I remember cruising oh. down White Ave, down Jasper Ave, just it's super crazy. hyped. Yeah. I went and watched it where the Stingers play basketball at the Expo Center there. Oh, sick. And uh, yeah, it's unforgettable. Unforgettable. Moment. And that was the first championship, in... A, ca- a Canadian team won in like 30 years or some shit. Holy crap! What the boys about to do? For us? It was 93. It was the last time a Canadian team won a championship. So that was the Montreal Canadiens that year, as well as the Toronto Blue Jays with their second championship. And it, no championship has come to Canada until 2019. And now it's going to be 2024 when the Oilers take it. Peace. Till next time. <laughs>